Good day, my little teacups, and welcome to another fabulous tea talk. I'm just going to preface this by quickly saying, yes, I do have a page of notes in front of me, so occasionally it's going to sound a bit read out rather than off the cuff, but I've got a lot to cover, so you're going to have to forgive me on that one. So today, we ask the big question that's been lumbering around the comments section for quite a while now, bumping into things and generally sitting on the furniture. Um, yeah. I get that, by the way, this would normally be dealt with as over-Englishmen. This is tea, tea cup time and tea talk and whatever the hell the name of it is at the moment is usually OEM's deal, but I think it's more important that I actually deal with this myself. So, getting right to the point, for a few months now, I've had the odd message popping up here and there from people suggesting that I run a Patreon campaign as a way of offsetting the time costs of running the channel, blah 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 I'll be entirely honest, I've pretty much dismissed those most of the time because the channel is way too small and I would just automatically assume there'd be no interest. Um, it is also a very frightening concept, but I'll talk about that in a moment. So, thing is, over October specifically, these messages, comments, mentions, and whatever chats have gotten a lot more frequent and to the point where I actually wanted to make a video about it and discuss it. In brief, since there does seem to be actually a demand for it, much to my surprise, I will gladly run one, but I want to make sure I treat it right, and for that, I think that it's very important that I ask you guys to help me. Now, for those of you who don't want to have to sit and listen to me waffle about the realities and fears of running something like this, just want to get to what I mean by help, specifically, I'd be after the kind of goals and rewards you'd like to see, as well as what you think would be appropriate. Just leave them in the comments below, and hopefully we can get a good discussion going with them, as much of the community as possible. Make sure we get it right. Also note that these are just going to be extra things on top. This bit is important. It's going to only be extra things on top, or at the very least, tiny administrative changes. I don't want to pay you all off anything that people are already used to getting. I hate it when people do that. And lastly, most importantly, if you can't, or fucking just don't fancy getting involved in the discussion, or donating to the Patreon when it comes out, or anything, don't worry. That's absolutely fine. I am being 100% honest when I say, that this is just an on-top matter. I don't want it to become a mandatory monster deal that just divides everybody up. This is mostly for the people who have suggested and asked me to run one. It's totally fine if you can't or if you don't want to. That is okay. Please believe me. And that mainly is the gist, so if you have to dash off, I'll understand. But if you want to hear me talk more in depth about this, the hows, whys, etc, then you're more than welcome to stay. Oh yeah, but, but wait though, um, if anybody knows anything about give a tad, could you pop it down in the comments please? All I keep hearing is that it's kind of like Patreon, but you watch ads instead of paying directly. Is that good? Is it bad? Is it safe? I, I, there's so many sites out there you can never really tell. I know bugger all about it and Google searches death by choice. So I would seriously appreciate any info you guys have got. Thank you. Right, so now that we're into the long-winded section of the video, yeah, there's a huge amount to cover if we're really going to talk about this. And I already understand, by the way, this video is going to be way longer than anyone else's. Hey guys, I'm running a Patreon upload. But please understand, I... This is going to be long because I want us to talk about this realistically, okay? I want us to talk about this like adults, which is a rarity on most internet discussions. So with that in mind, let's address the absolute biggest point that I already know is going to appear before it even does. I have always been scared of Patreon being discussed because of things like this. This is what I've seen happen to channel after channel that I follow who've tried to run Patreons or general fan support. To be honest, I think they kind of invite it on themselves though with how they announce Patreon as this big, shiny, positive thing without really explaining as much as they should. Let me be clear though, I don't have any issues with the fact that these comments object to the fan funding. My issue is that they're digging their heels in and shutting down the talk before anyone can even debate. I think we're better than that. And I reckon if we treat the topic with realism and the respect it deserves with a dash of cynicism, we can find something we can all live happily with. Right, so let's start with the info that most audiences don't get and most creators don't share because of network contracts. 
i.e. around about how much money YouTube actually gets me. I'm going by this part of the YouTube contract, which was conveniently screenshotted and underlined during a Google forum discussion of the topic with a bunch of experts, which I guess is the equivalent of verified for Google in their forums. Does anyone know this? Okay, but anyway, there's going to be a link to it down in the description below as well. Um, main bottom line is I'm going to fudge the figure by one dollar or two just for safety, so you know that going in. Although considering how much this stuff goes up and down on a regular basis, it does feel a bit stupid, really. Okay, so on a really, really good month, it's seventeen dollars. Mostly though, it's about ten or eleven. There, I've said it. Now, assuming that I work a total five hours a day on YouTube between administrative stuff, answering comments, hunting new games, recording, processing videos, and editing, which, by the way, in the case of voiced LPs, that goes way up. That means in a typical 30-day month, we see 150 hours a week. A hypothetically generous $13 YouTube month divided by the hours comes out at 0 0.08666 an hour, with that bastard little six on the end repeating indefinitely. Now, let's pit this against my offline work. For the uninitiated, I'm a professional video editor who does camera manning on the side. I mostly deal in making and editing advertisements for local businesses, schools, shooting stage productions, and performer show reels. This kind of makes it a bollock, though, when calculating as work sort of comes and goes at different densities all the time. That's what happens when you're self-employed, annoyingly. It also further buggers things up that I have to spend time looking for work and marketing my business to try and make and generate work. But I've distilled it down and on average, for a standard full four days work commission, I get £150. With a working day standing at 8am to 5pm, a nine hour working day multiplied by four days is 36 hours. £150 divided by 36 hours makes £4.17 an hour, rounded up because of another bastard repeating six. That equates to $5.10 an hour. All of those calculations are before tax as well. So, there you go. All the figures that I can think of relating to YouTube, the job I wish I had, versus editing my rent payer. Needless to say, there is a bit of a difference. And most sane people would take the job over YouTube. I am not most sane people though, so regardless of whatever happens, I'm going to still keep doing YouTubing. I may not always be able to refuse work that comes along so I can do YouTube, though, as it isn't a worthwhile time investment, but I will keep doing YouTube the same way I always have. I'm gonna knock it back down to one video a day, potentially two, though, because when I was covering two videos a day, I was just going mental, and that'll be discussed in a different video that might be out before or after this one, I'm not exactly sure. A lot of Patreon announcements are very quick to say how funds are gonna go back into the channel. It's okay, it's all gonna go back into the channel. It won't, nothing will be spent on living costs. And whilst it's true that it can be used for obvious channel costs like games to play on said channel, let's all be honest, it's going to be spent on a bit of everything. Okay, we're talking about this as adults, it's going to be spent on a little bit of everything because realistically, where do channel costs end? When you look at it as a time investment, you start thinking about internet bills, electricity costs, but realistically, the main bill is me. Irrespective of how much I want to do it, how worth my time is it? And as I keep saying, because I have to repeat this, someone's still going to get it wrong and that's okay. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing with YouTube, but the problem is that I can't do more with it without cutting into my work time and thus needing a better return for the time invested. And just, sorry, just to divert for a moment. As for this bollocks, really? I see this on channels big and small whenever the topic of fan funding's raised. Are they serious? Have we reached a society where we can only respect our content creators if they're struggling to make up the time? It, the one exception to this seems to be review channels. It's totally okay for them to run a campaign, go full time and live off making reviews. I respect there's a certain viewpoint that says making reviews is creative and making gameplay is easy, but let's be real, there are jobs out there that are just as easy. It's not about how hard the job is. It's about a return for time and effort invested. That's the main big deal as far as I can see it. At least it's the part I've been most afraid of people screaming at me for. It's funny when you think about it, because once upon a time I considered streaming with a PayPal donation button. 
but that is a whole different story for another video. <laughs> so yes, that's my piece said. I'd welcome any and all input you guys have got. If we're going to run something like this, I want to make sure it's designed based on ideas from the community. I know no matter what I add, subtract, change, whatever, someone somewhere is going to be pissed. I've made peace with that. This is about giving those of you who've wanted a way to support the channel a safe means of doing so. And also, we can design a reward scheme that means something to us and the content that we like. But it's got to be designed together because I'll be honest, gamers running Patreons is not the done thing. It's the realm of reviewers, artists, animators, people who don't regularly put out content otherwise. Or the people whose content is going to get buggered over by YouTube's algorithms. It's not, usually, for people who make shitty little let's plays that require no effort. <sighs> that feels better to ask the question. Sorry to have overloaded you all, but uh, I thought it was important that we discuss it actually as adults. Because I've seen way too many announcement videos that are just, Hey, this is a shiny new thing! Just go do that! And then they'll talk about the rewards, they'll be really excited to talk about the rewards, and they'll never talk about the realities of it. They'll never talk about what it actually would mean in the grander scheme of things. And they always end up with comments like, those ones I'm afraid of. And they never end up getting addressed. It ends up dividing the fan base. There's this huge war about, oh, who's white knighting who? Who's selling out? And I honestly think we're better than that. So I wanted to treat it with the respect it deserves. That's me done. I am terrified to upload this video because I'm terrified of the reaction it'll get, but I think it's an important topic that actually needs to be addressed now it's come up so many times. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for listening, I should say. Love you all, and farewell.